If you are excited about this story <laughs> and you want to learn more about it, that is happening Sunday night. And if the weather allows, which again, it might not be, it could be visible from the inland northwest, but it doesn't look likely. Uh, not, not as well here. Meteorologist Thomas Patrick has the science behind this exciting event and exactly when you would need to look up if you want to try to catch it. Coming up this Sunday night, a great celestial event will be on display for the entire U.S. A lunar eclipse, sometimes referred to as a blood moon. The lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow, causing the moon's color to tint that rustic red color. There are three phases to a lunar eclipse of the moon. The first is the penumbral phase. This is when the moon first makes contact with Earth's outer shadow or penumbra. The entire moon is still visible at this point, but you will notice that the brightness will start to dim. The next is the partial phase. That's when part of the moon is obscured from the sun's light and is inside Earth's inner shadow called the umbra. Once the moon fully enters that umbra, that's when we see the total lunar eclipse. The reason the moon appears red as opposed to completely vanishing from the sky is because some of the sun's light that passes through Earth's atmosphere is bent or refracted towards the moon. Think of it as all of Earth's sunrises and sunsets are being projected on the moon's surface, causing that reddish hue. Here are the important times for Sunday's eclipse. It begins at 6.36 p.m. with the partial phase starting at 7.33 and the full eclipse lasting from 8.41 to 9.43, a total of one hour and two minutes. The event is visible across the entire United States and we don't see another lunar eclipse for two and a half years. Creme 2 News, meteorologist Thomas Patrick.